hello everyone. Today we're um, going to Joshin um, near my house. Actually, um, it's been raining. It's it's been raining the past two days. It's going to rain all week, and it's going to rain in two hours. And I thought today, um, I knew that it wasn't going to rain in the morning, so I thought maybe I should make a couple of quick videos before it start raining. Starts raining because. Um, once it's raining and then all of and also too because of the, uh, the state of emergency a lot of places are closed So um, it's really hard to make any kind of content for you guys. So I thought maybe squeeze in a little bit of um, Video videos before it starts raining. So it's a little bit dry. The weather I think is really nice actually um, It's not too hot not too cold but um, It's going to rain in two hours. It's about 12 o'clock right now and I think it's going to rain at three o'clock actually, so three hours maybe. And um, yeah, I'm gonna I want to go to Joshin right now. I'm, I'm I'm trying to make videos around my house because I feel like um, I don't know what's open and what's not. And I mean I'm sure the Joshin around the the city center is open, but um, I've never been to the Joshin here. And um, there is also a Don Quixote, and I didn't know that too. So I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make. Try, I'm trying. I'm going to try to make two videos today, one at Joshin and one at Don Quixote. And it's kind of nice because it kind of um, forces me to make these videos. It, it forces me to go to these places because I've been wanting to go to Joshin, and I've been wanting to go to Don Quixote near my house, but I just have no. Um, I just have no reason to go there. So I, I'm. I'm glad that I'm making these YouTube videos because. Um, kind of forces me to um, go there and check it out and you know who knows maybe it'll be really good so um, let's go there right now also by the way it is May 18th and it is Tuesday if you guys want to know the date so this pro this video probably will be out by Thursday my time Wednesday your time so yeah I'm on the main street now. Um, usually this road is pretty busy, but um, it looks semi-busy. This pizza place. This motorcycle shop is closed. Usually they're open. Anyways, if, if, if anybody's wondering, I'm on day 12 of my juice fast. If you've been following my channel, um, I've been doing a juice fast and today is day 12, if anybody cares. We're almost there. All right, here it is, Josh, and this, I've been I've been living in this neighborhood for about um, two and a half years, and I've never visited this place, and it's right near my house. They even have um, like um, like a traffic guard because it gets so busy, and this road's really busy. So it's looking straight at me. I don't think there's anybody here, which is nice. I like to go to places when there's nobody around, and everybody's at school or work, so I think it's good. They got a lot of stuff here. Kids Land, they even have a watch place. Hopefully they have cool watches. I like watches. All right, this is the front of the store. Joshin. I used to have this joke with my friends when I was um, in, um, I want to say middle school or just like, don't be joshing me. You know, like joking, but joshing. Don't josh me. Don't be joshing me. Oh, they got a pick-off drop-off station here for like mail, I, I think, for packages. They have a huge parking lot here. I think the parking lot is bigger than the store itself. Right, let's get in here. They got a spray. Oh, they got a foot pedal spray. Thirty-six point two. Some massage chairs. This is the second floor. Huh. Refrigerators. Yeah, these are really expensive, these big refrigerators. This is $3,000. I think because it's made in Japan as well. I bought my, my refrigerator secondhand. I bought it for about 
300 bucks it was like 80 years old but i got a really big fridge and um and just this morning i was thinking i'm so happy that i bought a used refrigerator because you you'll notice in japan people buy these little tiny refrigerators because it's the only affordable one like like some of these smaller ones and i noticed that like i need a lot of room in my refrigerator because i always pack things for the week so this one's about a thousand almost a thousand dollars nine hundred dollars yeah like even these smaller refrigerators are like six hundred dollars so i think um when i first came here to japan i would go to these stores this one's only three hundred dollars it's a Chinese model, high sense. All right, so um, I didn't get kicked out of Joshin, but um, I was just recording the refrigerators and the guys were telling me that I couldn't. And I don't think there's any rules against filming like a refrigerator. I mean, like what if you're wanting to buy it and you want to know which ones they are, but um, they just wouldn't let me do it but on top of that they were like following me around the store because they have nothing better to do because um, there's no customers and so I was just going up and down the stairs because uh, just to trick them because they're they're acting like they weren't following me like I turn around I see them and they're like touching something but they were like literally following following me around so I just kept on going up and down the, the escalator like a couple times and and then I disappeared so um, yeah, some places they won't let you um, record, but it's. I think it's mostly. It, it, it's. I don't. I mean, it could be a store rule, but I feel like a lot of times it depends on the person who's working. You know, if it's like someone who's like on a power trip, I feel they'll say something. But usually, like, you know, I'll go to these places, I'll record, and usually nobody says anything. And I'm just like, I'm just recording, like. I'm not even like I think the biggest thing is recording people and I'm not recording people I'm just I'm just recording and sharing I mean if anything I don't know they probably don't know what's the use for what, like what am I making the video for but um, you know I left so but the, but anyways the, the the coolest parts of the of the store was closed um, it was boarded off like the um, um, the game section it was all like netted off so you can't like walk through there and also the watch section of the store was um was closed upstairs so the fourth floor was closed so we're just gonna go to don quixote it might be a fail they might they might like have some things closed off so we're gonna go and try and see um what they have over there so i do also live by uh Edion. And I've actually made a few videos, not a few videos, but I made a video um, coming here and nobody, nobody really um, bothered me. And there's a lot of stores around here because there's a lot of uh, houses and apartments. So um, these electronic stores are, they probably get really busy around here. And then there's a home goods store over there. I've, I've also recorded in there as well. Nobody has bothered me, so. All right, this is another store, Yamari, Yamara Denki. Maybe we can try out here. We have bicycle parking over there. Let's just let's just check it out. It's another electronic store. There's like three electronic stores around here. I think that Joshin is it's not new. I think it's been there for a while. All right, it might be shaky. I take the tripod off. Maybe we can be more incognito when we go in here. Oh, I've never been here. This couch set is $300. I think people will be more nice around here at this store. It's a tent. Some TVs. Their TVs are not even on. Alright, this TV is about 700 bucks. I don't know if it's brand new or not. I mean, TVs are usually more expensive, 50 inch, 2017. So this might be a second hand model. 700 bucks for a 50 inch. Looks a little scratched. All right, I think those TVs were second hand. These are like the newer ones because they're on. But um, 
they're all like Sony's and Sharps. This Sharp TV, $800 for 55 inch 4K. These prices aren't that bad actually. This place is just one floor. Right, let's see the really big ones. This one is about a thousand and two hundred bucks. There, there are people just sitting on the couch with the massage chairs too. They just come in for the massage chairs. The 70 inch is almost two thousand dollars. It's a sharp. These are like secondhand models. This one's only two hundred dollars. Forty-nine inch Joy. Must be some sort of Japanese brand or something. This one's three hundred dollars. Got some old computers. Yeah, this place doesn't have a lot of crazy stuff things, but they just have like things that people need, like humidifiers. Um, ovens. Yeah. Fans. Might as well look at the refrigerators. Yeah, this one's only five hundred dollars. Hitachi. That's a pretty good price. I say if you're going to buy um, any kind of big appliances, come to Yamada Denki because these prices are more reasonable because these prices are like doubled at Joshin. I, I think they definitely overcharge on um, electronics here. There's like a double tax or something like that. See, this one's a decent one, 400 bucks. Yeah, see, I wish I knew about Yamada Denki when I um, actually these could be like I don't know if these are brand new because I feel like these are these prices are reasonable yeah, these could be some like I don't know like floor models but they're so they're so much cheaper than uh, Josh and but the Yamada yeah, uh, smells a little bit used could possibly be secondhand because the uh, Yamada Denki um, in Osaka and Namba it's much more expensive than here yeah they could be secondhand the thing about um, secondhand things in Japan they're usually kept really well like my refrigerator is like 80 years old and I got it for 300 bucks and yeah see these are like a thousand bucks but um yeah, it's it, it when I first got it, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it was a used refrigerator, but and I also have a used TV that I got for like 75 bucks. It's like a 50 inch TV, but it was like 80 years old, but it still works well. So, if you're ever going to move to Japan, I really recommend secondhand. This one's 1,500. And it, they're so expensive, but they they just feel like they're cheaply made. You know, I feel like they cut corners a lot. Oh. They have like um, a cutout model. Reizoko. Reizoko is refrigerator. If you want to learn, I don't really know that much Japanese. Oh, they have food here too. Okay, they have some toys. Oh, they got um, Tomoka cars. They sell Tomoka cars everywhere. Yeah, I got really like, uh, like, I don't know if you say triggered or angry, but um, just just the way they go about it, it's like, I don't know, just they're just kind of forceful. Usually, places places are really nice. They'll just they'll just ask me nicely. Please don't record. I hope this footage isn't shaky. See, this place, all this is open, but at Joshin is all closed. I might just check the footage and see if it's shaky or not. Alright, it's not too shaky. 
But here are some uh, Hot Wheels cars. I already, I already went in there. They have some DVDs here. Some PS4 games. I believe these are all secondhand, maybe. No. I think some are. Crash Bandicoot, Tetris. And they have some Switch here as well. 300 bucks for this Switch, they got it. They don't have a PlayStation 5 though. Oh, they don't have Nintendo Switch. Alright, so they got some kids toys here. And um, some food. I guess if you live close by, it's um, people will come here to buy food and drink, but drinks but I don't know I don't know if this place would be the best place to buy food G zone yeah they, they got like everything what all the other stores have they got the KK I, I think now in America especially where I'm from in Chicago they sell a whole bunch of Japanese Kit Kats now These are pretty good. I like these two. These are good too. Got some rice crackers. Healthy snacks. These are really good too. I remember we used to, um, at the school I used to work at, they would give them these snacks. This one too, maybe. Yeah, they would give them these cookies. I like these, chi um, these chips. They're very crispy and they have sour cream. So they have some cleaning supplies, they have curry. Got some uh, home uh, cleaning products. They got some uh, low calorie snacks, healthy snacks, but they're probably not healthy. These are really popular, these calorie made if you want to get a food substitute. I've seen people eat this. And they have like baby products. Some band-aid. Okay, they even have hair product here. It's like a one-stop shop. They got everything. Men's products. Alright, they have some blenders here. I used to have this one, this Panasonic one. It was crap. It broke. Don't buy Panasonic. I think it used to be good back in the 90s, but recently, um, I, I, I honestly feel like they've been really down on their quality. Don't get Panasonic. So they have some juice machines here as well. Um, if you're going, if you're thinking about doing a juice, making juice, um, it's better to get like the slow crushing one instead of like the fast ones, because they say that it um, cuts, not cuts, but um, that it, um, it eliminates the, all the good nutrients inside of the fruit and vegetables because it slices so fast. So it's better to have the slow crushing ones, which I have at home. So if you're deciding to do a juice diet or juice fast, make sure you get like the slow crushing ones. What is this? I think it's a laminator. Oh, it's a vacuum seal. Oh, it's only 50 bucks. It's pretty cool. I got like an own beer tap. Some takoyaki machines. Oh, this is cool. We've been talking about getting one of these grills to cook food, but we have no space. How much is this? No price. It's interesting. Where's the price for this? Got a mini, mini takoyaki machine. I don't know what the price is on this. 
try here's the rice cookers I heard from somebody else that a lot of Chinese people really like purchasing the Japanese rice cookers I think they go back and sell them for more money but I mean it's just a rice cooker right just cooks rice Whoa, look at some of these crazy ones yeah I would I mean I have a Chinese rice cooker at home Hisense and it works pretty well uh, it's not Hisense it's another Chinese brand but Here's some of the ovens. Nowadays, they have like, since there's no space in Japan, they just have the ovens built into the microwave. So this thing acts as a microwave and an oven. This one's for 400 bucks. Yeah, so you can microwave and oven your food in the same um, appliance. It's uh, space saving. Here are your bidets. Yeah, um, actually, the first thing I look for when I move into a new apartment is if they have a bidet. I think once you've been spoiled by a bidet, you can't go back. It's just, it's just like it's necessary. I don't know why everywhere else in America doesn't have bidets. You have to have a bidet, I feel like, if you ever tried one. But yeah, I guess how much are these bidets? I don't even have prices. It's like 600 bucks, 400 bucks. So expensive. That's why it's good if they already come with it. They don't even take it out of the packaging. They probably don't want to resell it like that. They just want to sell it like this. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of people in here, so probably don't get enough a lot of business. But um you can buy cheaper cheaper um, electronics or l cheaper shavers on Amazon. That's where I got mine. I want to see if they even have mine. I think I have the Series 6 or it's a low model one. But I bought it for like 100 bucks. These are $200. Yeah, I think I have a Series 6. Maybe 7 is the newest one. It's 200 bucks. Speakers here. Got a tape player. I wish I could take you guys to a second hand store. When I used to, when I first moved in, um, in the city, they would have all these second hand stores that you can buy from, and they used to always have good things there. Second hand stores, um, Facebook, Sayonara, and um, there's a there's a web page, not web page. There's a Facebook page called Sayonara Sales, where people sell their second hand goods and um, Craigslist as well. I bought a secondhand sound bar as well, speakers on Craigslist. The Sony, this one, 600 bucks. I don't know um, if that's the right price. This GX7, 600 bucks. A lot of people use this for vlogging. I really want to get a Sony. Hopefully one day, one day I'll get a nice Sony camera. Either Sony or Canon um, R, but I want to get the A7, which is really expensive. But, you know, maybe one day in the future I can get it and just get better quality videos. Here's some monitors. I think that's it. Uh, just one floor so some big air conditioner fans got some tables here got some toilets you can get a whole toilet Toto we have some second hand electronics this iPad is $500 I don't know what year it is 
can find an iPhone 5S for $70. Yeah, they don't have anything too good up here. Got a Pixel Aquas. They got an iPad Pro, I don't know from when. It's like a really older model. I like this um, space in the in the in the front though, in the lobby. All right, I guess that's that. All right, that was kind of crazy. Not this was crazy, but um, just uh, just those guys at Josh and just put me in a really bad mood. They just they just didn't do it in a nice way. I don't know. Just made me feel not great, but. You know, sometimes I gotta let things go and not let things get to me, and um, I'm working on that. And um, I'm I'm a ten I'm a person that tends to work off emotions before um, my logics logic. So you know, things happen. Um, get over it. Let it go. Um, I mean, I'm glad that I found this place because I was like oh no I can't go to Josh in now but everything was closed there anyways the, the upstairs part the good stuff so I'm glad that I found this place but I'm gonna go to um, Don Quixote now and um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please look out for the future videos look out for the video next probably be uploaded tomorrow and thank you for coming along with me and goodbye see you next time